Ah, you can count with the formation. This is it done. Because it's muscles are so fast. And very few players in the formation so early in the folks group. There was one gentleman who did extremely well the same, about the same level in the same. And generally it's one of the things which is not the top thing, but then you move their server. The faster you can make the formation, in general the better server you are. This is an important observation by Dr. Baroque. This may just be semantics, but this pronounced pronation or wrist snap is very evident in elite players as shown in this video. Here I spotted and videotaped what I thought was the fastest serve at the recent Honolulu Futures tournament. According to Bruce Elliott, professor of human movement and exercise science at the University of Western Australia, there is no one single technique used in the tennis serve. However, he mentions there are critical mechanical features that are integral to a successful service motion. The contribution to racket head speed at impact is as follows. The leg drive and trunk rotation contributes to 10 to 20% the upper arm elevation and flexion is 10%. The forearm extension, pronation, and upper arm internal rotation is 40%. And the hand flexion is 30%. In this next clip, you can see a noticeable difference in the pronation of the WTA player in comparison to the nationally ranked player on the left. In conclusion, the forearm extension, pronation, and upper arm internal rotation, along with the hand flexion, contribute to 70% of the racket head speed at contact.